Hello, this is Keith from Kinvert, and we've done something cool with Vector here. We've also done the same thing with Cosmo, but this video is going to be going over the Vector version of this program. All right, so um, after you see what he does, please let us know, is this something that you're interested in, right? So I'm going to go ahead and run this. I am going to read Rapunzel for you. Let us begin. In the dark of evening, so he's reading the story and you can see his eyes are kind of nervous. But once he climbed all the way down, he was terribly afraid. The Enchantress was looming right over him. So in the middle of the story, he can also do animations like that. Now he's going to play the part of that witch. How can you dare, said she with angry look, to send him to my garden and steal my rampion like a thief. You shall suffer for it. Now he's switching to the character of the, the guy that climbed down the wall. Right? And so you kind of get the picture there. So, um, basically, well, tell you what, let me uh, shut this so that you can actually hear me. Alright, so he should be done here. There we go. So, again, um, please let us know, is this something you're interested in, right? Because we wanted to have, like, a little story time program for Vector with our son. We have a four-month-old, and we wanted Vector to be able to read him some stories. And so I wrote a program where you can take a text file. You can either create this text file yourself, or you can find other stories, right? And uh, like, for example, this was a Brothers Grimm, I think that's what they're called, where they wrote all these really old stories that are now public domain. And so I took that text, and then I added in the ability to put in like a markup language. So for example, the animations, you do asterisk, asterisk, and then you put in a little bit of text like the animation name, a couple little things, eye color, arm position, and then do two more asterisks at the end, and now my program knows that's not part of the text for me to read, that is an animation I'm going to play, right? So please let us know, is this something you're interested in? How might you use it? What do you think, right? Please let us know in the comments below. We will also have a link to our article about uh, the basics of how we made this happen and what we think of it. And yeah, that's about it. All right, this was Keith from Kinvert, and we will see you guys later. Bye.